the winner of the UK Young Scientist of the Year is Connie Gray with Adaptive Variation Across Avian Species from Liverpool Life Scientist UTC. My project was looking at feathers uh, under microscopes, uh, specifically a scan and electron microscope to see their microstructures and seeing the differences between the feathers and how it varies due to like the species of bird that they are. It came about in like a sort of lot of different ways. We, our school was given the opportunity to use a scan and electron microscope for about seven weeks, I think it was, and I was allowed to conduct my own project. And another reason is I read uh, Charles Darwin's Origin of Species and about um, Darwin's finches really interested me. And I have a pet bird of my own, so I'm just kind of fascinated by them, really. Now, scientists have looked at bird feathers and how they can how they react to UV rays but they've never really looked at the feathers comparing them to each other of different like species. A key findings I think one main one is the seagull feathers have sort of really really zoomed in little like barbed wire like structures on the the barbs of the seagull feather which is quite funny um, and it's never been seen before because after I found it I did some research into it because I wondered why is it like that but no one had investigated it so and then another is with climate change when I saw feathers from a bed of a colder climate and a warmer climate I thought it could link to climate change of how the spacing of the feathers is and stuff and how it could be used to predict of how climate change might be changing species uh, a more alarming rate. I think a lot of young people are getting more passionate about STEM because um, they can see the world changing around them and they want to make a difference and help themselves.